Hi guys, uh, so this is a video to help you understand how to do the puzzle for your integer practice today. Um, if you read the directions, haha, uh, it says you're going to cut apart this sheet here. Uh, there's 16 squares. So these all are going to get cut apart and I have just the regular sheet here and then I have already cut them apart so you can see they'd all be cut into squares, okay? Your puzzle is going to go back in the same shape as this. So we kind of, there we go, so you can see all of it. Um, it will be four down and four across, so it will make a square. It will also, like the letters, see the letters in the middle? That's really just to help you keep track of which squares are where, and it makes it easy for the teacher to check when you have it done to see if you have the right solution, because we'll just look for the correct letters in the right spots. Those letters should be straight up and down. So none of your pieces can go so that the letters are sideways or up, upside down, okay? So if you can match up numbers that way, that isn't going to work. That's not the right solution. There is only one correct solution to this. Now, how do you know what the solution is? Uh, well, that would be because you're going to go ahead and where there aren't just numbers already, where there's an actual expression, you're going to figure out what that expression equals. So negative 3 minus negative 1, you could... I'll show doing it on my sheet here. We can do subtracting is the same as adding the opposite. And then you're going to have negative 3 plus 1. So remember when you're adding integers that have opposite signs, you subtract and take the sign of the bigger number. So 3 minus 1 is 2. The quote unquote bigger number would be negative 3. There's more negative than positive. So your answer would be negative 2. I would like circle that if I were you guys. Like circle all these answers, so to say. And then over here, easy, 6 minus 4 is 2. The way it's going to match up then is, so like, see over here with Q, how this has a negative 2. Well, maybe that negative 2 goes next to this A. So they have to match up side to side. So if I show you with the actual pieces here, if we spread these out. Now, I didn't write out all the solutions on here, mainly because give you guys a bunch of free answers and I figured if I had answers written here you could just pause the video and look at all of them. So answers are not written on here but you would have already done that. My suggestion would be if you guys are working with partners that you may want to um, before you even cut these up maybe pick you know half and half or half and half. Cut it in half so you each can be working on simplifying those ones that aren't done yet and then cut all your pieces apart and then work together to actually put the puzzle together. That would be a good way to split the work. Um, if you're working individually, you should still be able to get this done as well. It will just take you a little more time to simplify all those expressions. So then what you'd be doing, looking at pieces where it's all already filled out. So here I'll fill out this A1 again quickly. So this was negative 2, and 2, and then 7, and negative 11. Once they're all cut apart, it should be easy for you guys to kind of figure out, okay, I, if I do like this, now those negative twos are next to each other. That's how pieces go together, is so that um, matching answers are going with each other. So, like, I can't, let me think for um, a good example of something different. Obviously, this doesn't work then because then that's two and negative two, so that doesn't match up. Like I said, you can't turn, you know, pieces sideways or upside down to make it work out. So, like, there's no way that that's going to work. Um, but if you look, so this has negative 2 on that right or left side so that it matches up with that right side. But so does the M piece. So this isn't necessarily the right one that goes next to Q, okay? Um, it might be this one. So you may have to kind of play around with what works with everything else around it, right? Because now underneath here, underneath the Q, I know I need 8 minus 3 is 5. So I need some piece as I'm looking at these, where obviously that top part would have to equal 5, right? So like I can see this one is 5. So maybe that's the one that goes there. But then if that goes here and this goes here, then that means I need a piece where the top is going to be 0 minus negative 7. Whatever that is. And then on the side, I need one that's on the Specifically on the left side, I need one that's the answer to negative 6 minus 6. If there is no piece where that exists, then either these aren't in the right spots, or maybe Q isn't in this right spot in the puzzle. So think about, um, you're going to have corner pieces when you put this all together. Now I'm just going to fake 
line them up not paying attention to anything right now. When I put this in my four by four square here, some of those pieces are gonna end up in corners, right? Those corner pieces mean that some of their answers won't ever have to actually match up with anything, right? And same thing with everything on the bottom, on the top, on the sides. So like all these pieces on the top, they never have to have an answer that matches up with any of these expressions up here. Like on the side, don't have to have anything matching up with any of those. So if you find a number that you just can't match up with anything, then that probably means it's either off to the side or the top, the bottom, a corner. Okay, so that can be another clue as well. Um, the substitute teacher is going to give you a clue or two um, for like where she is going to give you one of the corners like tell you for sure which one is a corner so you have like a little bit easier place to start okay but this was just to kind of give you guys an idea of what you're doing so when you think you've got it you're just gonna arrange it on your desk you don't need to like glue it to a piece of paper or anything I think it might say that in the directions yeah it does so you don't need to do that part okay uh, raise your hand or go on over to the substitute teacher and say okay I'm ready to be checked bring them over uh, they'll check you if it's right Great, then you can move on and work on your homework. If it's not, you need to keep trying, see if you can get it. Uh, I have left instructions that the first three, either individual people or teams that finish uh, can get candy out of my cabinet. You guys know where that is. So either one dum-dum or two mints. Uh, so that's a little extra motivation for you guys. Uh, so good luck and have fun.